Okay, we're gonna shoot a video, okay? Ready? All right. Hey friends, this is David and John from Default Sound. And uh, for Technique Thursday today, we're gonna talk about uh, a system for organizing your patches that you create or uh, download Hi. in main stage. Yeah, we are. Got a little help today. Um, so when I first started with MainStage, I was downloading patches left and right, I was creating patches, I was saving presets, but I wasn't really organizing them. They were kind of saved all over my computer. I had some in Dropbox, I had some up in the cloud, I had multiple areas in uh, on my hard drive that they were, and it was just a big mess. I wasted a bunch of time hunting for uh, patches. I had duplicates of patches. So I had to look and see which one I'd created first and which one I'd used last to find the most recent version. And I was wasting a bunch of time. Uh, something that I talk about in the free ebook on my website, this is one of the five tips that I go over in, in good detail. Um, but what I ended up eventually having to do is I just went to the audio music apps folder uh, in your system library and I created uh, within the patches folder, uh, I created some subfolders. Um, and that's what I really recommend that you do if you're having trouble keeping organized. So I create subfolders. Ooh, are you playing? Yeah. I create subfolders for pad sounds, for leads, for song specific patches. I even create subfolders for specific artists that I have a lot of patches for. Um, there's really no limit to the amount of, of indexing that you can do within that patches folder. And then those patches, uh, that's where MainStage saves patches by default. Uh, and they'll also show up in Logic as MainStage patches if you use this patches folder within Audio Music Apps. And then you can add as many subfolders as you want. What do you think, John? Is that a good idea? Uh, yeah. So it's a pretty quick tip. I know this is kind of a, an informal video, but it's a, it's a really simple thing. Once you start, you know, I had to take about an hour when I started really organizing to go through and clean up and delete a bunch of junk and put things where they belong. But since then, it saved me a whole lot of time uh, and hassle. And I know where everything is. I can find stuff that I'm looking for really quickly. Especially if you're downloading or purchasing patches from other creators, it's a great practice to get into of just sorting through those products when you get them and putting them in one place so you know where to find them. Uh, if you want to see that ebook where I go over this with some pictures and some more detail as long as as well as four other main stage tips that are really helpful. You can head over to defaultsound.com and become an insider, which is free, and then you get access to the Default Sound Insiders page where I've got that free ebook, a bunch of free worship patches, and other main stage tips. I've even got a discount. <laughs> I've even got a discount on one-on-one -on -one main stage training. Yeah, it's a good deal, isn't it? Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave one in the comments or you can use the contact form on our website. Thanks for watching. John, can you say bye? John. Man. Hey, say bye. Bye. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Oh.